I got called in to read for a part on Get Smart, which I was very happy about because I thought it was such a sharp show. And uh, I came into the office and I picked up the script and I looked at it, and it was this old guy. And I didn't bother to read it. I just said, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. And so I, I went in to read, and the guy I read for was the story editor on the show, and uh, he was producing it too. And so I went in and I read, you know, the old admiral now, that was kind of like my grandmother when she was dotty, you know, I looked at myself, shots of myself with her glasses and I, I looked a little out of it, which I was right. He was supposed to be like 97, but I tried to make him 106 or something like that. And, and so, and they wrote some really wonderful stuff for him. I just loved the things they'd written for him. But I, I read in the room that day, I, I read, uh, I said, uh, we finished, and uh, the guy seemed to think I had done pretty well. I said, oh, and I have an, another thing. I, I think it would be funny if, if he had a hard time getting, I said, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's funnier. He has a hard time sitting down. So then I got up and I, I did the bit where I said, could you give me a little shove? Thank you. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. And I used it when I worked on the Carol Burnett show. And then Harvey Corman appropriated it and wore it out. I wrote him a letter one time. I said, God, you know, it was mine. I, I made it up in the office. So anyway, it doesn't matter. But I loved doing the show. It was just such a, a riot to, uh, to play that old guy. And they gave me wonderful stuff. I remember this one time somebody gave me a watch. Uh, it was present, you know. And, uh, and I said, it's inscribed. And they said, what, what does it say? I said, Bolivar. <laughs> I thought that was a great joke. And it, this, that story, the guy who was the story editor on the show, gave me that line on the set. So there were a lot of bright people around who were just really funny people. And, and the Admiral was, I loved, you know, I, when I would, I'd get off balance or something, or somebody would throw me something, and I'd catch it, and I'd say, uh-oh, <laughs> that's it. Now, now over here, oh heck, <laughs> and I'd fall, fall down. And you know, uh, what that did was it kind of took the curse off it, because I was falling down and I was an old man and undoubtedly would break something. I've done that in the last couple of years and I have broken things, shattered parts of my spine. So it wasn't really, it was only funny because I, that took the curse off it. I'd say, oh, oh, or oh, heck, or whatever. I, everything I did on that show felt right to me. I remember there was one scene I did on the show where I, it was one of the early ones I did, where I was announcing, I got on television to announce to people that there was something bad going, going to happen. I don't remember what it was now, but. I, I was going to go back to the, to the screen at the back of the room and do something. So I, I said, as I started, I said, just keep shooting. And, so, and they would do that. They actually did. They just kept shooting. And so I fell out of the shot. And they kept, I said, don't, don't look for me. Just keep shooting and then get to the place where I'm going. I'll be there. And I crawled across the floor. And I came up and I said, hello there. It's just, it was just fun to do. I've never had so much fun in my life working on it, was anything. It, was it fun for you to get to play such a kind of loose, out oh, of control? Oh, yeah, you... yeah. Everything about it was joyous. I, I loved doing it. I really did. I'm sorry that he couldn't work more often than he did. I think that, uh, that Maxwell Smart, Don Adams, he used to think I was too slow. That bothered him. Uh, so I, I said, well, there's nothing I can do about that, Don, you know, just, that's just the way he is. And then eventually he warmed up to me and it was all fine. But I think he used to, it used to bother him that I took so long. <laughs> well, you know, that was air time that I was using up. <laughs> um, how did you create the character? How did you come about 
boat with the the S. I had been in a in a workshop somewhere with Avery Schreiber and uh, Hamilton Camp. I don't know if you know who Hamilton was. He was uh, he was a folk singer, but he also he was a rather droll guy, very funny. And Avery was, you know, what he was, what he was. And they they had this improvisational workshop. One night, the three of us were in the room, and and we were inventing characters. And I don't know, I just suddenly tried an old guy who was different from the other ones I had played, who was, you know, gentler and uh, more fragile, <laughs> but still <laughs> a little out of it, you know. Not bad, but enough. <laughs> so anyway, so I, that was where I, I had it in my head. And when I looked at the script, I thought, oh, I know how to do that. And I, I had worked the other thing out just that night. I'd just done it one night one time in this uh, improvisational class. So I remembered the feel of it, you know. And I just thought, oh, I, I know what to do. I didn't have to read it. Everything in the script was a surprise to me when I read it. That's but great. it all worked, you know.